And so Jesus, from, from this point on, when he heals that guy, he goes out back out to the Sea of Galilee, and this is where he's going to find Levi, the tax collector, going to call him and change his life. Come on, how many people know that, that one encounter with Jesus can change your entire life? Amen. Amen. All right, so Luke chapter 5, starting at verse 27, the word of the Lord reads, <clears throat> After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. So leaving everything behind, he got up and began to follow him. And then Levi hosted a grand banquet for him at his house. Now there was a large crowd of tax collectors and their scri- or tax collectors and other uh, who were guests with him. Verse 30. But the Pharisees, with their tax collect, where am I at? Oh, I skipped two parts. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Starting over at 30. But the Pharisees and their scribes were complaining to his disciples. Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus replied to them, the healthy don't need a doctor, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. I like some versions. It says, I have not come to call those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners and need to repent. Come on, how many people know they're lost without God? Right, and, and what Jesus, he's shooting a slug at the Pharisees. He's like, I don't come to call those who think they are righteous. He's like, um, right. But those who know that they are sinners, that without Jesus, I cannot do a thing. Without, uh, apart from Christ, I can do nothing. But like what the Bible says, with God, nothing is impossible. Amen. And so we can uh, sum up this, this, this passage, the main idea um, in one statement, Jesus calls people to follow him without discrimination. And th- this is what's taking place. There's, there, there, needs, uh, there needs no discrimination clause in, in the kingdom of God, right? There's no racism in the kingdom of God. There's no ra- racial profiling in the kingdom of God, amen? What, what America fights about so much, we don't have to worry about in the kingdom of God. Jesus is not looking at the color of your skin, your credit score, or your bank account. <laughs> right, we should do a praise break right there. <laughs> Just, uh, thank God he's not looking at our bank account for salvation because we would try to finance that too. <laughs> what was the interest rate on eternity, right? <laughs> we would be in trouble. Uh, but there's no discrimination. Jesus will call whoever, and uh, it's, it's awesome because he's calling Levi the tax collector. And, and if you just read right through it, you, you may just kind of like skim over and not understand the importance of what Jesus is doing because he's calling a, a tax collector. Tax collectors were absolutely hated by the Jewish people. They were considered sellouts because uh, they, they worked for the Roman government. So, so Rome said, you guys, y- y'all Jews, some of y'all couldn't work for us and what y'all do is set up tax stations and you'll put a levy on people, tariff, uh, 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 like a toll, like customs, and as people would go through the route, they would say, let me, let me see what's in your bag, and they would tax them on everything that they had, and Rome was cool with them lining their own pockets. As long as you give the proper amount of tax back to Rome, they're okay with you lining your po- pockets and, and taxing a little bit more, and, and the reason why they, were, they had so much hatred to these tax collectors is because they're working for the government and funding the government that's oppressing them, giving the, the money to to the, to, to the military that's oppressing them. So they're not just traitors, but they're also thieves. You, you've traded your own people, and now you're stealing from your own people. And Jesus is like, I'm going to start with these guys. The one that you cannot stand, I'm going to start with these guys. So the, the lowest of the low on, on, on the uh, totem pole that you would have. And, and I'm thankful that Jesus goes to the lowest of the low. Come on, rise. I, I'm grateful and I'm thankful that we have a church like you guys who do not look at the fact that we have a men's home and starting a woman's home and that we deal with a lot of people who struggle with drugs, who struggle with alcohol, who struggle with depression, cutting themselves suicidal thoughts. So you're not saying, oh, 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 what sinners? What sinners? Like, like the Pharisees. I, I tell you that, that if you hear that people are upset that we could help drug addicts and alcoholics, I would equate them to these people right here. Far from the kingdom of God is their heart. Because Jesus started with these people. 
And I thank God that you don't look like, oh, they're, they're, they're drug addicts and they're alcoholics and they, they went through what they went through. No, praise God that he can do something like that and save somebody who has went through what they went through. That's where I want to be. I want to be around where there's life. I want to be around where Jesus is performing miracles. There's testimonies and there's praise reports of somebody who was bound and lost and got his family back. A mom who got her family back. People who got their marriage back. People who got their mind back. And I praise God that we have a church like that. Because this is where Jesus went to. He went to the lowest of the low, and I, I thank God with the help of his Holy Spirit that we could take the people that nobody wants and turn them into the people that everybody wants. Thank you for joining us here at Rise Church Online. We hope today's message was impactful. Listen, we want to stay connected with you. So by clicking on the link below, you can find out how to do that. Also, by clicking on that giving link, you can help us continue to advance the kingdom of God through discipleship and outreach. Please subscribe to our channel for all new content. We'll see you next week. Thank you and God bless.